the sewing podcast. I've been on a bit of a break, unfortunately, it wasn't planned. I accidentally got sick, um, so I had to have a pause from filming and also from sewing, unfortunately, which means I haven't been doing a lot of sewing at all these past, what is it, it was almost three weeks now, actually, when I'm filming this. But I thought I'd just pop on real quick and I'd talk a little bit about what I have been doing, sewing-wise, anyway. And as you remember, I was uh, having this project um, where I was making the long, simple skirts, which I've kind of fallen in love with. It's, um, it's a garment I really, really enjoy wearing for several reasons. And it all started with this old thing. I will be inserting uh, pictures or possibly even clips uh, of the different skirts while I'm wearing them as well. So they will pop up here. While I'm talking but it all started with this old skirt which is just like a simple long uh, piece of fabric pretty much um, and uh, I've been loving this one it's for one it's a, it's a really long skirt it goes all the way down to my ankles more or less and it's uh, uh, you can also pull it up and wear it like this, like a dress in the summer, which makes it come to about knee length for me. So it's kind of been a, a kind of a multi-purpose item for me. And I've actually, believe it or not, I have actually also been repairing my car wearing this as a dress. In my defense, it was 30 degrees Celsius outside. It was so hot. So, uh, but anyway, I've been wearing this a lot over the years. I don't know how old it is. It's, oh gee, I must have had it at least 15 years, I think. So it's it's not very pretty anymore. And I wanted to have more because I really enjoy having that type of item in my wardrobe. Also, it's easy to wear because as you will see in the pictures or movies, I don't know what I'll be inserting here. Uh, you will also see that I have a lot of curves everywhere way more than I really want to have. So it's of course an easy to wear object for me. So it all started with me making a easy pattern. This is pretty much just a rectangle based on that original skirt. If you're hearing a lot of noises from upstairs, that's my, my son getting out of bed. I hope, we, I hope you can catch that. Anyway, I made an easy pattern for that and I started making more. The first one, was this one that I already had fabric for in my stash and I've been wearing it quite a lot. I have a lot of black sweaters which it goes very well with. Loving to wear this. It's very, uh, I don't know what this fabric is actually, it's kind of a cotton jersey something something. has a very nice weight to it. Not too heavy but it's it's, uh, it's very flowy and nice. Then I had fallen in love with this amazing kind of autumn fabric. At, I think it was Stuff and Steel. Just this one. And I just, you know, I had to have it. I really, I was thinking of making a Joni dress out of this. And I may actually order more of this fabric to make a Joni dress as well later on. But... Um, I decided to to make one of these long skirts first because it's more wearable during the winter for me. And then, of course, this been Valentine's Day recently, and I saw this fabric, which I also believe was from Stuff and Steel. This is a slightly heavier, more of a jersey, almost uh, sweatshirt quality thin sweatshirt possibly, but it's still a jersey and it was a discount on it. So I thought, you know, I'll just grab uh, a meter, 25 centimeters of it, which I don't know how much that is in, in inches or what it was that feet. Um, one meter, 25 centimeters is what I usually get. And that makes a really long skirt. Actually, this one is a bit too long, so I should need, should be shortening it about five centimeters love that too. 
So that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been sewing. Um, aside from a couple of repair jobs that I have been doing for um, for my kids, repairing some jeans and, and things like that. Uh, but I'm hoping to pick up my sewing adventures again, uh, a bit more active uh, during the spring. And um, yeah, I will be making a couple more skirts too. I have uh, fabric for two more. And I've also got <coughs> a uh, jersey skirt that I, that's more of a, I don't, it's not circle cut, but almost. And it's, uh, I just realized it's almost like a dark academia kind of style. And it's been uh, in a pile for a long time because I wasn't um, happy with the pleats that I'd made. But I'm going to get back to that skirt as well and get that done because that's also a great item to wear this time of year. Um, so this is a lot of skirts coming up as well. But I also do want to make uh, some bigger projects. I do want to make uh, several of the girly projects as well. And also there's, as you can see, uh, as you saw in the pictures and uh, videos, I am um, a bit on a heavy side right now. Not just a bit, I'm a lot. And uh, that is something that I, that I intend to do something about this year. So I'm also a bit... The jury is kind of out on the issue of... On the matter of whether or not I should tackle the more expensive projects. Because I don't want to make, you know, like a gorgeous dress or something. And then I can't wear it because it's too big for me but then again you all know what it's like you you tend to think that oh I'm going to lose so and so much weight and I'm going to be this and that size and, and so on and then life happens and you don't get around to it so I don't know I don't know but I do know I will be making two more of these long skirts at least and I'm also thinking about doing my own workout wear, which is uh, could be could be added fun to the whole workout thing that I'm uh, going to start now. So there might be a lot of fun projects. There will be a lot of fun, fun pro bleh, projects coming up. I'm sorry. Can you tell I haven't been filming for a while? Anyway. Just a quick update to let you know, I am still around, still alive and kicking, and uh, there will be more sewing, for sure. I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>